So this is the, uh, it's called Iceberg, but it's basically a event space that belongs to the AHCI, which I think is the Association of Horological Creators Independent. French, they changed the, the, the arrangement of words. But the um, Bernard Lederer is here today. He's a member, and he has a, a watch that has his natural escapement in it, which I'll put a link to in the uh, description of the video. He did a, a lecture at the New York Horological Society last year um, about it that I watched that blew my mind. And uh, uh, I'll put a link to that, and then I'll show you that watch. And I think out of all these things, Watches and Wonders and Time for Watches, this AHCI exhibit this week, um, this watch is one of the most important and impressive watches to me. A lot of watches are, are design, designs based on old inventions. And the natural escapement actually is a old invention. It's something that Brigade did originally. And then uh, George Daniels did a version of it for a pocket watch. And, but George Daniels said it could not be done in, a, in the size of a wristwatch. So Bernard took that as a challenge and did it in a wristwatch. And part of what has happened over time is that the, pers the possibility of, of really high precision manufacturing has uh, increased over time. And that's one of the things that allowed Bernard to do it. But uh, check out the watch. It's amazing. Bernard, thank, I, I'm, I'm so honored to meet you because I've, I saw your uh, presentation at the New York Horolo Horological Society about the natural escapement, which you can correct me, but from what I understand, Breguet did something, he tried to do it, and it, he, he ended up kind of doing something a bit different or it didn't work that well. But then George Daniels tried again, and he did something again a little bit different that worked, but he said it was, he did it for a pocket watch and he said it couldn't be done in a wristwatch. And so you took that as a challenge and you did it in a wristwatch. Wrist but there's slight variations in everything and, and basically the, the challenge for everybody is that you, you, you have to get, it has to be extremely precise or else you start to quickly enter a zone of inefficiencies that defeat the purpose of the natural exactly. escapement. Yeah. So. See, I, I, paid attention. I, I, think, I think I made a good lecture <laughs> in the Horological yeah. Society uh, because you understood it completely yeah. right. Uh, the basic idea came from Abraham Louis Breguet. He wanted to combine the reliability of a lever escapement with the efficiency of a chronometer escapement, of a direct impulse escapement. And therefore, he mirrored, he took two directions on the chronometer escapement, putting something in between two escape wheels. Mm -hmm. And um, this idea is very, very fascinating. And uh, it is so much fascinating that even today, and today more actual than ever, because still today Rolex is coming back to this idea. So it is something fascinating. But the problem of Brugge is that he linked the two escapements together. Mm -hmm. So he has two major problems without going too deep, yeah. but the movements available at his time, they had been constructed for 30 hours of power reserve, more or less. Mm -hmm. And in the meaning of one escape wheel. So now he had two, and to synchronize the two escape wheels, he put it additionally two wheels that are interfering, interlocking. Yeah. So instead of accelerating one wheel, what the movements had been made for, he had to accelerate four wheels. Yeah. So instead of 30 hours power reserve, he at the end had only seven and a half on pure theory yeah, yeah. by the first problem. Yeah. The second problem is that the two wheels are linked together even via additional wheels but if one is moving the other is moving as well yeah to make it as easy understandable as possible imagine a wheel of 10 teeth escape wheel 
means 360 degrees divided by 10 gives you 36 degrees between the tips of two teeth. Mm -hmm. If you have worked now two wheels together, you cut it by half. You don't have 32, you have 16. Mm -hmm. no? And for each, you have to take away the angle for the tolerances, so you have also double tolerance deduction. Yeah. So you end up by, let's say, the theoretical seven and a half, again divided by two. So imagine you are going to sell a watch, you say, I have the best idea, the best escapement you can imagine. It costs you a fortune, but <laughs> it's the best. And you have to mind and, it every four hours. And let's say, depending how long you sleep, you have to stand up two or three <laughs> times tonight to rewind your watch. Thank you for this marketing uh, idea. Very super, you will find customers all around the world. <laughs> so if you know Brugge, you know that probably, I don't know if it was like that, but we can imagine that he sold his idea before he produced the oh, movements. Yeah. Yeah? And you imagine he took all the money and when they started to make the watch with this escapement, what he called the natural escapement, yeah, yeah. Nat so natural that it even does not need oil, that was his idea. Mm -hmm. <coughs> And then he realized... Uh, oh, he had to deliver, so he had, that's where the changes came in to make it work. But and then, then you can see the on the truth, main yeah. plates, on the bridges, mm -hmm. everywhere they change yeah. the size of the wheels, they change the positions. So you really see that he puzzled because he did not know why his idea did not work. He yeah. was so, so fascinated by the idea, yeah. so convinced it's a super idea. Yeah. And yes, he was right. Yeah. It was a super idea yeah. and still is. Yeah. He only took the wrong way to go. Yeah. And this is where George Daniels comes in. He clearly took the, the statement that too much energy, two wheels linked to each other is cutting on half the, the, the angle of efficiency. So he said, no, no, no. I will make two gear trains each gear train will turn one escape wheel, the other gear train will turn this escape wheel. And by this you have now the balance, gets a hit from this one, mm -hmm. from this side, from this wheel, from that side, and tick and tuck and tick and tuck. So you, we have twice a direct impulse to the yeah. balance, the best what you can do, you don't have an in-between. <coughs> and to synchronize the two escape wheels, he put it in something what I like to call it a metronome. I don't want to call it an anchor to avoid confusion mm -hmm. because it has nothing to do with an anchor escape. Mm -hmm. So this metronome is standing in one position blocking this wheel, mm -hmm. but this wheel yeah. can turn and can transmit the energy. Now the balance comes, switch the metronome opening mm -hmm. for this wheel, mm -hmm. blocking that wheel mm -hmm. here. No? And like that, it mm -hmm. goes forward and back and forward and back. And this is really to the honor of George Daniels that he had the idea how to make the two wheels independent yeah. from each other. Yeah. So you have to, to make the statement, the natural escapement is a dependent double wheel escapement, uh -huh. and George Daniels made the independent yeah. double wheel escapement. So it has two barrels and two gear trains and everything. That's exactly. why that's why your watch and perhaps George Daniels as well, but yours in particular is so beautiful to me because the symmetry yeah. and then the open case back or the or the sapphire case back also to me is so beautiful because you can really see it not like looking through a flat panel but like to me the back of that watch is the is the amazing part, and uh, mm -hmm. I think there's nothing, there's nothing, in, nothing that extraordinary in the watch world, as far as I'm concerned. That is like, when I when I saw that you you your brand was represented here a few days ago, I couldn't believe that I would actually have the opportunity to see the watch in person. I never dreamed that, and then to meet you in person is like a double dream. So <laughs> that's absolutely amazing. You you yeah. 
I have but, one question. Yes. On your website, there's a very similar watch, but it has a, both the apertures are open. Is it just a, is it is it the same? It's a, both are natural escapements, but that was a different iteration. Both are not, not natural, natural escapements. Yeah, to be very yeah, yeah. And there I insist. Independent. They are independent uh, double wheel double escapements. escapements. These uh, are dual chronometers yeah, yeah. or okay. uh, double detent yeah, escapement. Yeah. All is correct. Uh -huh. But uh, <coughs> so what you saw on the website, those had been the 44 millimeter watches with this interlocking uh, double second indication. Mm -hmm. And you know the interesting in that story is why I made it. That's a Going back a little bit to the past, when I was working for other big names in the watch industry, for big brands, and when you do this, you have to sign a confidentiality agreement. I never may talk about what I made, yeah, for yeah. whom I made yeah. it. So when, when you go and look for more work and you go to, I don't know which brand, and you say, look, it's me, yeah. I'm a good developer, yeah, yeah. they no, say, oh, you. you are, fine. Tell me what you did in the past. <laughs> then you cannot talk about it. Yeah. That's quite difficult. Yeah. And when then I remembered that George Daniels, when he writes about the independent double wheel escapement, he writes that he thinks it is the best escapement he can imagine. But so tight intolerances that it never will fit a wristwatch. Yeah. And then I said that's a good opportunity. Yeah. If I will be able to make what George Daniels yeah. told never ever possible, yeah. I think then I have a quite nice thing to show. Yeah, and that what was I'm when that was for. your first. That, was that your first watch that you did yourself? No, no, no. But it was a way to do to use that instead of to give it to to sell it to someone else. You were like, I'm going to make. That was for me. Yeah, because then the, I, the showcase yeah. piece yeah. to get new work. Yeah, yeah. So. When, when, you, when you have the reussit, when, when you get it, that you be, make reality yeah. what the big Pope, George Daniels, yeah, yeah, if yeah, I yeah. may say so, yeah, yeah. stated that never will be possible, yeah, yeah, yeah. you are, yeah. that, allow me the word, a hell of proud of yourself. <laughs> you deserve it. And, uh, and then, Please allow me, you are so proud like father when he has beautiful he well, yeah. children and you want to show that. And how can you show that more yeah, yeah. than giving the panoramic view yeah, yeah. from every side to yeah. all the details. Yeah. And this is why we made that. We did, we did not knew how challenging yeah, it is yeah. to make such a crazy sapphire yeah, yeah. case spec. A lot of long machining, yeah. yeah. Because this is quite different than complete sapphire crystal made cases. Mm -hmm. Because here you have no screw, yeah. nothing. Yeah. All is a development that is going to the extreme. And that is also possible for us to go that far because we are able to make everything in-house. Yeah. In reality, we order now the cases at a case maker. But when you go to a case maker with your design, this design, yeah. everyone will tell, yeah, yeah. impossible to yeah, make. Yeah. So we had to make the prototype yeah. to go to show and yeah. then all went fine. And uh, voila, it is just this, I, I like the, the terminus uh, of, of uh, this overall view and the panoramic yeah. view there's into a, the movement. There's one other thing, if I might say, aside from the symmetry, which is is a beautiful aspect of the of the design, it's also um, a form follows function design in terms of like there's the, the, it, it's minimalist. There's nothing extra there that's that's trying to scream out, you know, oh this or that. But the bridges and every 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 aspect of the of the actual movement design, also I just find amazing and and aesthetically perfect. A lot of a lot of times people who come from a very technical engineering background seem to miss the aesthetic, the importance of aesthetics. They either overdo it or they forget or they or they manage not to do it. 
And I think that for me, you captured everything, like the, the, the absolute engineering excellence, the aesthetic excellence, and uh, and the open the the, the the open design is just uh, I just love it. And I thank you again. Uh, it's really You're an welcome. honor to meet you. <laughs> You're welcome. And this is how we move forward by breaking ground once more. We call it the Oyster Perpetual Land Dweller. Like every Rolex watch, its movement is equipped with a state-of-the-art escapement. But this one presents an innovative design, crowned with seven patent applications. This is the Dynapulse escapement. It has been specifically developed to enhance the watch's efficiency for a finer measurement of time and a smoother movement of the seconds hand.